Hey guys, so Tori Spelling breaks her silence on her divorce with Dean McDermott and she actually started her own podcast, Miss Spelling, where she talked a lot about her divorce and how was she the one who filed for divorce with her estranged ex. Uh, let's hear what Tori said and uh, it's an interesting video because you can understand her true feelings uh, even though in my one of my late, latest videos I talked about them uh, a lot and uh, I said that eventually we'll find out what really happened uh, we actually cannot find out from this uh, episode of her podcast but uh, you know you can clearly if you have if you had any questions you can clearly see what's been going on between them uh, and how they react to one another it's public I don't know what feels more like a punch in the stomach that it's like out there and it's final or that I have to call him right now. Oh shit. He's at work. He's at work, you guys. This sucks. Hey, it's T. Um, I know you're working. Can you call me? It's important. Uh, everything's fine. The kids are fine. Um, but call me, please. I like she, that she's staying an actress still. <laughs> you know, um, you understand like she's sharing her feelings and, uh, I'm not arguing that it's her true feelings, but she's doing it online, basically calling her husband and talking about divorce and signing papers, <laughs> which is, you know, which should be private. But I like her sharing this story, honestly, because I'm sure they have a lot of fans between them and she was a star of Beverly Hills 9210 and um, that show had a lot of fans as well. So. Uh, people want to know the truth and uh, if she wants to share uh, her story, if she opens about it, uh, she can attract a lot of listeners, at least her fan base be with her. There's this weird thing that I didn't know about before that um, you have to be careful with your ex, like it's like he said, she said, who filed first, so I, I had to file and go through the process. And then once it was accepted and publicly posted, then I'm allowed to like call and fill in my ex. So I just called Dean, he's working and I have to tell him and I'm super nervous because I don't like confrontation. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's weird <laughs> that it actually uh, exists right now that you if you, if you, if you file for divorce first, you have this uh, advantage <laughs> uh, and you can, like basically what she just explained uh, you have this advantage in the court uh, so it's weird uh, she doesn't like confrontation but she needs to tell him uh, it's clear that uh, she has a lot of still has a lot of feelings for Dean uh, because when she talks about him uh, it's clear that she she still loves him likes him I don't know uh, I mean it's not you, you don't need to be like a scientist or read people minds or you know this psychic or whatever you can clearly see that and hear that if you've been around people if you talk to people you understand how they behave hi i'm okay how are you okay i hate to do this to you while you're in the middle of you're going to work and everything they're they've done it it's like one it's just the formality it's like a one sheet you check off and next you'll have to sign it you have a lawyer wait it's gonna be spun what way that i had enough of you what in all honesty, after this whole journey, I, if it's about that, like who files first, the other person's wrong, if they, I feel like I deserve to file first then. Well, I mean, you basically put it all out there with Daily Mail, like you said, everything that you've done to me over the years. So I think it would make perfect sense that it's followed up that I would file. So basically, um, you know, uh, in this conversation, she said that uh, he said everything to Daily Mail and he didn't supposed to do it. Uh, said it publicly so that was his, her desire to do that to file for divorce and uh, yeah she's mad at him clearly about about him going public with Daily Mail and saying stuff uh, which he was not supposed to say uh, she feels this way uh, and I'm like uh, I feel like right now I'm like uh, this psychic guy who can read her mind no it's like clear and when you hear their conversation it's clear to see I'm just explaining to you probably you know a lot of people actually hear what they hear and they don't think uh, what's in between uh, the lines and uh, I think I actually think and uh, I think uh, in this type of conversation we can hear a lot of truth uh, what's going on between them what's really happening right now in their lives 
because those are things I would never have divulged to anybody and you did. So I don't know. I'm, I, I assume that'll come later. I don't, I think it's just, yeah, it's just like a one sheet. <laughs> you literally like check like divorce and like irreconcilable differences. Yeah. Okay. I love you. Okay. Again, she says, I love you. Oh, what, which indicates a lot of good feelings for him. And actually, when she said that, when she said this last words on this phone call, I thought she was gonna cry. Her, wor her words started trembling, her voice started trembling, and uh, I thought she was gonna cry, but she didn't. It shows that she's still going strong no matter what. Wait, that's it. Oh my God, never felt more alone. <laughs> In a room full of friends doing a podcast. Fuck. <laughs> I've never felt more alone in 50 years. Sorry. You are not alone. You are not alone. Oh my God, you guys. It sounds like some movie. <laughs> no. You are fine. so loved by so many. Stop. It's true. Don't say mushy stuff. Say mean stuff. It fires me up. <laughs> I don't like to be treated nice. He was like, great, good, great. Yeah, I have a lawyer. I was going to do this, but cool. Yeah, saves me $500. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, that's the podcast, I guess her podcast, she can do what she can say, whatever she wants to say. Probably she doesn't want to stop her feelings, stop uh, showing her feelings. And what she's saying right now, you can, you can really hear her message and see her message. It's, uh, I'm sure it's going to be shared by a lot of fans of hers. Uh, they have the same feelings for her and they're going to support her. So, uh, hopefully everything will be fine with Dory spelling. I don't feel worth loving. That's the truth. And that's something that's just in you. It's not something I wanted or created or that starts when you're young, you know? Well, it's something you learn. It's learned behavior, not feeling worth it. Is it? It is. <laughs> how do you And learn now it? you have to work on unlearning that and learning how to accept being loved. <laughs> that's not easy to do. Like you guessed it right, they have irreconcilable differences and that, that was the reason for divorce. And she's seeking sole physical custody of their kids. Even though it's clear that she still loves him, she at least have some feelings for uh, Dean McDermott, but uh, she's still seeking a custody of their kids. Even though um, she's okay with uh, shared legal custody of them, obviously. Uh, what do you think? Let's discuss. Uh, Maybe you have a different opinion than mine. Maybe you disagree with what I just said. Leave your thoughts and feelings in the comment section. Let's discuss. I'm gonna to reply to you to your to every comment. Actually, I'm replying. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to push the like button, share this video with your friends, turn the notification button to find out about new videos, comment on this video because it helps this channel to grow and let's grow together as a family because we are. And don't forget that good will prevail at the end.